it's Tammy. So what I'm doing today, does your honey ever get like this, crystallized? <laughs> right? This is just going to be a fast video on how to uncrystallize your honey. Do not throw it away. Now, I'm going to put it back into canning jars. These don't even have to be um, sanitized because honey is a natural antibiotic in the bug world. I hope y'all can see. You can't see what I'm doing. So anyway, let's see. Let's try and get it that way. Anyway, honey, the best to get is Manuka. Manuka honey. Um, just because your honey has crystallized, like mine has, I don't know if I can get this off. Anyway, just because your honey has crystallized, you guys, see, that, that doesn't mean it's bad. And the easiest way to uncrystallize your honey is to heat a pan of water. I'm going to lift you up. Heat a pan of water. And once it gets to boiling, turn it down. Do, 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 do. Yeah, all right. Hey, got to say, I am creative. So what we're going to do, and you don't have to worry if you use mason jars. You don't have to worry about your jars being sanitized. Just make sure they're washed. Same with the lids. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. Um, honey is a natural antibiotic. Uh, God's nature. God's nature. I love God's nature. So what you want to do essentially is get that honey up out of that jar. It's not going to be easy. And you know guys, I have to say after I've done this with my honey, it's never crystallized again. But this, I've had this honey for a while. <laughs> yeah, a good while. Uh, when I was on the keto diet, I wasn't able to eat it. And now that I can eat it, uh, yeah, it crystallized on me. So anyway, let's talk about honey. Honey is God's nature, sugar, all natural sugar. Um, there's all kinds of things about honey in the Bible. Sam, um, Sam, Samuel, not Samuel. Oh well. Anyway, honey is all natural. Uh, not only is it a natural sweetener and it tastes really good, but it's a natural antibiotic. And the highest um, uh, amount of antibiotics is in what's called Manuka honey. Manuka honey, you can get it at Trader Joe's. You can get it at Whole Foods. You can get it at um, online. I, I've gotten it off of eBay. Um, yeah, for a really good price, actually. It's where I get my Celtic salt as well. I don't use table salt. So anyway, do your best to get that honey up out of that jar. Like that. Um, this has happened to me twice in my lifetime, the honey issue. Um, now, living in an RV, and once, I gotta tell you, those crystals taste good though. Yes, they do. Um, and once with my ex, um, we had tons of Manuka honey all around our house and um, as it got thicker we just buy another one buy another one well pretty soon uh, yeah we were out of manuka uh, manuka honey and we weren't expecting a delivery for a week and uh, we were both taking it pretty steady at that time 
and we didn't want to stop. This stuff is great for colds, guys. Manuka honey is amazing for colds. Um, yeah. And get all that gooey richness out of the bottom. It might be a little different colored than the top, but uh, you want all those antibiotics up in there. So essentially what you want to do with your honey it might just be too much in that jar. I'm going to have to go and break down to the other jar. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I have honey all over me. Let's turn this upside down. My hands are wash. Anyway, Manuka honey comes out of New Zealand, I believe, or Australia, one of those, but it has the highest content for antibiotics. I know that if you catch cold, I'm going to split this down, guys. I know if you get a cold or anything like that, I'm just going to set this jar right here, maybe. I've got to get something in it. Um... You can take Manuka honey three times a day, just like an antibiotic. Swish it around in your mouth, and then uh, swallow it, and don't drink anything for an hour, and let the Manuka honey do its uh, uh, its magic. Any honey, guys, any honey is a, a, a natural. Mm -hmm. I'm so sticky. Is a natural healer, and it's just good for your body. Y'all know that I've been I use sweet and low in my coffee. Yes, I know, I know, I know. It's not natural. I shouldn't be using it. Don't use metal either on this, guys. Use plastic or uh, yeah, plastic, plastic or wood. So what you're going to do now, I hope you can see this. I can get that up. Uh, you want to just steer this and get, let it melt. You, when this water starts boiling, you absolutely don't want it boiling your honey. You don't want your honey boiled. You just want to stir it around until it becomes liquefied again. In this nice hot water. Um, yeah. And I'm going to show you this one. It takes about five minutes. And I'm showing you guys this for a reason. Um, because honey is very expensive, especially if you're buying all natural and filtered. I absolutely get my honey on eBay. Just like get everything on eBay. I love free shipping. So, let's just get this going. It's already starting to solidify. And after you've done melted it back into a, a syrup, you can leave it right there in the jar that you melted it in. Um, you don't want to take this jar out of boiling water just like if you're canning. Oh, and I'll make a canning video too. I, I love to can. I love to make jellies. Anyway, you don't want to take this jar out of this really hot water and uh, just set it on a cold counter. Uh, I'm going to show you. I hope you can see this. I'm going to show you here. Oops. Uh, it's starting to liquefy again. It, it just really don't take that long, you guys. Da, da, da. I'll set you back down. Yeah. I don't know how good this video is going to come out, but this is something that's really near and dear to my heart. And I just wanted everybody to know, don't throw your honey away just because it's crystallized on you. This water's boiling. I'm going to turn it down from high to about medium high. I guess you could use a double boiler, you guys. Absolutely.
um, if he wanted to. God, I, I, wait till you guys find out what I did. <laughs> I swear. You know what? Sometimes, yep, some days I just have the roughest time. Um, that'll be in my upgrade, my update video in the next few days. I have learned how to do videos ahead of time, guys, and schedule them for release. You should be able to be having more than three videos in a day. I'm going to be scheduling them uh, to be released. That way you guys can have a video every other day. Okay. So, essentially, we have went from this... Yep, in our honey. Two. Get a. Yeah, I don't want that. I went. Oh, I should get my grippers. Hang on. Let me go get my canning grips. Yeah. Leave that there a minute. <laughs> I don't want to grab that hot thing. Oh, I hope they're right here. Of course not. Okay. Yeah. Right. Hello. Just making sure it's recording, guys. Yeah, I can't find my can or grips. I'm not in the mood to look. So, um, take it out of the water. Set it down on a towel. I'm going to show you now. This is what you end up with. Gold in a jar. This honey will never crystallize again. Mine has never crystallized again. So what we've gone from, guys, is this. Let me get this. I mean, this is like, yeah, right? And, and you can hear the crunch. To a very smooth consistency. Just by heating it in a pan of water and stirring it. I hope this video was helpful. Don't throw away your honey, guys. Anyway, have a blessed day. Remember to love yourself because if you don't love you, nobody's going to love you. I hope this video was helpful. Peace out.